These are my onion bhajis. They're crispy and crunchy on the outside and they're soft and fluffy in the inside. These onion bhajis make a perfect snack for the season. Enjoy them with the family, friends or crack it. So slice few red onions uh, thickly. You don't want to go too thin. Heat up your vegetable oil on a medium flame to about 170 degrees Celsius. Now season your onion with salt. Now mix it well and let the onion rest for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to make my spice mix by crushing seeds and pestle mortar. You can always use a spice grinder. Take a tablespoon of coriander seeds and put it into your pestle mortar. Add fennel seeds and cumin seeds, touch of carom seeds. Now crush them to a coarse mix. You don't want to make a powder of them. This spice mix smells so divine. You can use them for vegetable pakoras, chicken pakora or even fish pakoras. And after 10 minutes your onions are ready and now add red chili powder turmeric powder and your crushed spices and now add chopped spinach finely chopped ginger and kasuri methi now mix the ingredients well you can always use uh, any vegetable of your choice you can use cauliflower you can use aubergine you could use carrots you can use parsnips you can also use um, you know sliced apple or raw green mango when you make your onion bhajis it's all up to yourself and now add gram flour and fine rice flour this will add crunch into your onion bhajis and now mix it well now once mixed well add more gram flour and mix well once more and to give a little bit of binding, add a little bit of water and mix it again. If you really want to have your crunchy bhajis or pakoras, the ratio of flour is really important. You don't want to have too much, otherwise they will be very, very doughy. And uh, this is why you want to add into a few stages, maybe one or two times, just enough to coat the vegetables. Just like this. If you see, when you press it a little, they are coming together well and they are forming a kind of bhaji shape. You can have any shape of your choice. I just like randomly shaped bhajis or pakoras. Now carefully drop them in moderately hot oil. When you shape them, don't press them too hard. Just give a light press. Now give it a stir after 30 to 40 seconds, not right away. The temperature of the oil is really really important when you fry your bhajis or pakoras. If the temperature is too hot, it is going to burn your bhajis from outside, color them and from inside they stay uh, cold and raw. So fry them at about 170 degrees Celsius until they look crispy and golden from the outside. And then take them out of the oil. Drain them on an absorbent paper. Now sprinkle them with chaat masala and enjoy with your family. And there you have them, the crispier, crunchier, delicious onion and spinach bhajis. They're really crunchy.